All right, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're wondering how come you see all this food just laid out like that. I was um, I was asked to do a video on what I eat to stay lean while on the truck, but I don't eat to stay lean. I eat to be healthy. <laughs> you know, um, I eat to live. I'll say it like that. I'm, as you can see. I am on uh, more so of like a uh, plant-based diet. I will not say that I do not consume uh, meat because I do when I'm absolutely just really hungry. I try not to eat it as much as uh, possible. But um, yeah, this is it, man. Uh, let's get started. So pretty much I have these beans here, in which I use my um, my rice cooker to cook these. I normally get like um, some of the the bags of vegetables out of the um, out of the uh, produce section. I will get the bags of vegetables and they'll be in my fridge. I normally have a cooler that I keep down uh, down here, but I took it out. Um, but yeah. I'll eat these. I have these maybe twice out of the week, three times. Depends on uh, when I cook it and how much I, I uh, prep. But as you can see, I have uh, lentils. Uh, I don't want to say that word wrong. It's mayacoba. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Uh, I got black beans, black eyed peas, and green split peas. Um, those are just the beans that I have so far. But, um, yeah, like I said, I, I eat those. That's just period for your protein and just keep your energy levels and things like that up. Um, that's what one meal would consist of for me, unless I had, like, rice with it or something like that. And um, if I get rice, it's normally uh, whole grain rice because we need grains instead of you know just regular white rice it's okay too but uh, you should consume it uh sparingly like i don't really eat rice like that i just now started back eating rice and this is the rice that i chose like i said it's wild rice uh or just whole grain rice brown rice i i have some uh uncle ben's rice as well that i haven't gotten into yet but um yeah i have that and I have my quick meals if I feel like using the microwave, which I try to use as least as possible. So this is kind of like uh, an emergency meal. Like if I really don't feel like uh, cooking anything or using my kettle uh, pot to warm up some, uh, some water, you know, um, I'll either warm this up right here or I'll eat my noodles, which noodles aren't really too healthy but i mean it's better <laughs> it's better than nothing <laughs> and um i have my quinoa here that's also some uh protein and it's also whole grains as well i will mix that with my rice or i'll put it in uh smoothies whenever i make my smoothies it really depends on how i feel um here's another emergency I have my my tuna and canned chicken. That's if um, I keep these in case, like I said, if I get hungry and I don't really have all of my food in the truck, it's just to put something on my stomach. And I I try not to consume that as much as possible. I won't make it seem like I'm perfect because I'm not. No one is. Um, yeah. Then we have uh, snacks. These are my current snacks, the okra chips. These are very good and they're sweet. Um, or I snack on oats. I normally have a big bag of these, but I just grabbed them whenever I saw them out of the dollar store. Was, as you can see, it's a really small bag. I just finished my uh, almonds and I ate my cashews the other day as well. So, yeah, but it would be those and my favorite pistachios. Another one of my favorites are bananas. And then we have the orange. 
I also normally buy cherries and since I've been finding seeded grapes I only buy seeded grapes when I see them if I don't see grapes or seeded grapes I won't get seeded grapes um, now I'm gonna open my fridge because I have some prep meals in here so you guys can see and know that I'm not telling a lot about how I eat <laughs> um, so that's not food Bam. This right here is chicken and rice. See? It's chicken and wild rice. I prepped this maybe a day ago. This one right here, just. Ah, if I can open it. Just regular. Regular rice. Or brown rice. So, um, yeah. And then I also have, just like I told you, my beans. And I'm probably going to eat those now, as a matter of fact. If not, I'll eat them in the morning. Either way, they're going to be devoured. <laughs> That's some good eating. But anyway, <laughs> uh, other than that, oh crap, I forgot to close it. But other than that, I have, uh, I forgot to pull these out. I normally eat oatmeal. If I don't eat it in the morning time, I'll eat it sometime throughout the day. I eat oatmeal. I have raisins. I also put this in my oatmeal, almond butter. I have my honey that I use as well. I told you. Here's some more of those uh, quick meals. That I was talking about. Yeah, I'm just pulling everything out now. Um, here are my raisins, which I put in my oatmeal as well. Uh, where is it? I also eat rice cakes as a snack. I have a, a regular sea salted rice cake, whole grain, as stated before. <laughs> and I'll put uh, honey and almond butter on it, and I'll eat me like two maybe three of them or i'll eat the whole pack or one pack because it's two coming in a pack um now i'll eat that as a snack you know uh throughout the day or whatever and um i think that's about it guys i just want to ultimately say that the food that you consume is a major part of the reaction that your body gives you in the sense of whether you gain fat or stay lean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> stay regular. But uh, that's the most that's the most important part is what you eat i don't know the science behind when to eat and things like that because i also fast um some days i'll go without eating and i'll just drink water and um yeah so i don't eat this every day i don't eat every day like i said i, I fast a lot and um to my knowledge it keeps me very healthy and i feel like I feel a lot better than I used to. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I was about to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the other part to this is exercising. You have to do some type of exercise. You can do 30 minutes. It, man, it doesn't even have to be 30 minutes when you first start. You can do 10 minute exercise or five minute. Something that's going to get your heart rate pumping. Just think about it. When you eat pizza, it's going to take you, you got to at least spend an hour burning that off. You know what I'm saying? Like, as you see, I don't have any bread or anything like that uh, up here. I don't, I don't eat bread. And if I don't have this food, I'll eat Subway and I'll get a spinach wrap. And that spinach wrap will consist of spinach, onions, olives, um, 
jalapenos, avocado. I may or may not put banana peppers on it. And I think that's it. Yeah. Unless I get like a tuna sub or something like that. But I, I try not to get that as much either. Because like I said, I try to eat more plant-based to be uh, just a tad bit healthier. You know. Um, but that's all I have, man. I hope I may have given some people the information that they wanted. You know. Um, regardless, this is what I eat. <laughs> I don't know anything else to tell you. You see my food that's in the fridge. And yeah, I eat this and I drink a whole lot of water. That's all I drink is water. You see, I have this right here. This is normally for my uh my kettle pot though. And I also have another thing of water what I clean out my um my bowls and things with. I only drink the Evian water or uh, Fiji water and the reason that I drink that is because of the pH level in it it's alkaline water pretty much and it's natural spring water you know so um people are gonna say oh water's water well I can't say that these have been tested by a water tester and these are the most alkaline waters that they're can be and your body needs to be more alkaline than acidic in order for you to keep away disease because the main cause of disease is mucus and mucus comes from eating the chicken and the swine which is the pork and the beef I don't eat no beef but yeah man eating all the stuff we don't need the pastries and things like that that's what makes you unhealthy that's why drivers get the blubber butt and the flubby stomach flabby stomach type deal look like uh what's his name off of austin powers i can't think of it get in my belly but <laughs> i can't think of his name right now man i haven't seen that movie in so long but yes that's what it is like and then just think about it we sit in a truck and have to drive for at least eight hours. Well, most people drive for at least eight hours. Unless they like other people like me, which drive 10 to 11. I'll run my clock out. I mean, just because I want to run and make sure that I don't care about resetting or anything like that. Because regardless, you're going to run. And you're going to have to reset regardless anyway. So, but uh, anyway, ha, fat bastard. That's his name. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Everything comes to you when you're not thinking about it. But, um. Yeah, like I eat like this because I want to be healthy and that's not even on the truck. I eat like this at home, too. I've changed my whole lifestyle as far as when it comes to eating, because I won't say a diet because I'm not on a diet. I am. This is my eating uh, situation. Like I really eat this all the time it, whenever I eat because I don't eat all the time. And it's, don't say it's not healthy because you're supposed to detox your body. You know, um, you should try it sometimes if you haven't. I'm not a doctor and I can't tell you how to cure diseases and things like that, but I'm giving you ways that I know for a fact are better than the crap that they try to get us to eat all the time. And just think about it, truck drivers, uh, lifespan is what, like 60? They, yeah, they're 60 years or 70, something like that, I don't know. But it's short, and as soon as you start driving trucks, that's when you start getting fat. You know why? Because you're sitting in the truck, not doing anything, and you're eating these snacks. You're eating uh, popcorn and chips, and you got your Debbie cakes and all that other crap. No, man, put that down. Put it down. Get your banana, or you can go in this store and get your apples or your, your oranges, or you can go to Walmart and buy a whole thing of oranges. You know, uh, I got these from the Loves, but... I normally buy the thing of uh, bananas, but I normally consume just fruit and vegetables. Like, that's it. I just started uh, intaking honey again. Other than that, man, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you a good amount of information. Um, I will do another video 
maybe more in detail once I gain more knowledge because I'm still on a journey, you know. So uh, you have to bear with me and understand. But I know that for a fact this is what <laughs> this is what I eat when I eat, and this will have you looking good and feeling great. But you have to put the work in. You have to exercise. Something. It doesn't matter what it is. Get you a jump rope. Do you some push-ups. Do you some sit-ups or mountain climbers or something. Do you some burpees, you know. You got to do that with the food. And don't eat too late. I don't know, though, because, yeah, I don't know the science behind it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to say that because I have a crazy metabolism. As soon as I just start working out, it, everything goes away. That's what happens. That's always what happens. Um, but anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, turn on the post notifications so you can receive notifications whenever I put out more content. And be sure to share this video with someone you think it may resonate. You may have somebody that's driving trucks. It don't matter whether it's a man or a woman. I am here to promote health and wellness while driving. That is my goal as a truck driver. I'm not even going to say over the road because once I get out of this truck, I'm still going to be advocating healthy living and healthy lifestyles. And hopefully I can get people to change their minds. I'm not the only one that eats like this or works out, but I'm saying like we as a collective in trucking have to change that because we all want to go home to our families not having heart attacks and crap like that on the road. You know, they say you live in a truck and you die. If you, yeah, if you live in the truck, you're going to die in the truck. So you got to get out of the truck. That's the goal to get in and get out. But regardless of that fact, you know what I'm saying? Like just for your mental state, period, you got to get out and exercise. If you just stay cooped up in this truck, just watching time pass by and looking at your belly just get bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah, you can make more money and this, that, and the third or however it is that it goes with you. But what you going to do with it if you're dead, you know, if your soul is taken away from this earth before it's supposed to. And you're the only person that's got control. You got control of everything that goes on around you. That's all I got, man. <laughs> Until next time, stay healthy. Be happy. Keep loving your heart. Peace.